Hi there, Gemini. This is Kim here to do a reading for you for your next 48 hours. I need to order sage tonight. Oh, I can't remember to get that because this thing is falling apart. But we do need to clean the energy. Um, always good to clean your psychic energy around your space, especially if you do readings, you know, for other people too. Speaking of readings for other people, I'm offering the private readings for donations to the channel still. You can find out the information on how to get that in the box below. And it is a good deal. That is a good deal. So, let's see what's going on. And allow 24 hours for those to get back to you, too, by the way. People who have donated. Wow. <laughs> Didn't even get to knock it, but, you know, we did... We did sage first, but um, right away. Time for a nap. Time for a nap, Gemini. Sometimes this card comes across, comes across to me as um, needing to take a break with someone. I mean, maybe somebody's just really getting on your nerves. Maybe you need a time out. Maybe you need a break from um, doing some really loving things that you do. Taking care of the family. Um, you know, the fox is usually alert and stealthy and ready to make a move like any minute now, you know. Um, so this is not, <laughs> this is not that real, real alert time. Um, it's an unwinding time. It's a time where I see the energy of the sacral region and your, you know, your creative areas. I feel it's like lightening up like um, orange, an orange color. Let's get another one. Wisdom of the Oracle. What else? I'm feeling like this is advice for you guys. For Gemini. Advice for Gemini. Time for a nap. First one. Advice for Gemini. From your spirit guides from your higher self, from the higher power, a higher power. Ooh. Nice. That's a really, 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 really good card to get. Be still and connect with your higher self. Mm. So you are connected and there is something really powerful about this. It's to me, it's like the foundation, the stability, the foundation of your reading. And then the 24, that's, you know, the six, that's harmony. But all, all together we have what? All twos. <clears throat> oh, and now the creation, the trinity, the uh, threes, threes between worlds here. What are you creating? You're between worlds and, and create, let me put that closer. Yeah, you're between worlds and creating something that you really love. The flamingo represents that in transition energy. Like, you know, it's very evident with one foot is always clearly stepping way ahead. So you've got one foot across the veil, it feels like. One foot across the veil, <clears throat> one foot back. Guys, I think we're just going to pull from this deck and then um, use some tarot to clarify. Get more answers. Let's go ahead and use the tarot. And we'll pull some more after we get clarification for these three right here. Okay, so let's use Light Sears Tarot. It kind of matches the, um, the nice artwork here. All right. Messages for Gemini. Feels like the energy of being and being aware of two things at one time. No, more than two things. Being very aware of a quantum dimensional thing here. Being aware that there is past, present, and future happening all at the same time. Able to integrate so that you're not leaving this now moment. Able to integrate all three, past, present, future. Interesting messages. Channeling messages from their spirit guides, their higher self, for the viewers that come, um, Gemini. Four Swords energy, too. Uh, something could be healing right now. Uh, well, of course, something's healing. Uh, maybe we are coming into a more colorful landscape. Maybe the sky is more blue here lately to you. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, it's time for uh, some good communication. And what's funny is it came on the, I mean, it really came up here as time for a nap. Maybe that's the good news is that you'll be able to take a rest or a nap. The Eight of Wands with this good communication that comes in. This Eight of Wands is really coming across as like you're focused and then the explosions happen. You're intent and then the explosion happens. Sometimes this is like getting hit by eight arrows, you know, uh, Cupid's arrows here. So, hmm, different things for different people. I'm wanting to say specifics, but I don't th I think that um, it's going to be very, very different. Because some of you all are just really, really waiting on communication that some you have not heard from in a while, a very while. Pay attention to somebody who's working so hard that they're not paying attention to their health. Somebody that you may live with. I'm wanting you to communicate with that person. The need for sleep. Good sleep. Something about they'll listen to you. And transitioning, transitioning. You have someone that listens to you like you listen to your higher self. You have someone here who's like very, um, looks up, looks up to what you do, to what you say, to how you live. Everything. That's why I'm saying if there's something about somebody's sleep, were there awake sleep habits that's giving you cue that they may need some help? You're being asked to communicate that in whatever way you see fit. We have the King of Wands. Woo! Not giving up. Add that to the eight. You get Nine of Wands, and there's your perseverance message. Um, <clears throat> King of Wands with the higher power. Seriously, this is a really, really good combination. Very good combination. I mean, you have your higher power that always wants just the best for you. And then you have this card of um, inspirational action. King of Wands energy. It could be the Lilio that it usually stands for, but it could just be like, watch out. You're, you're that lion and you're about to hear you roar. Someone's about to hear you roar. Listen to your higher self. And there's also this air of like whatever you orbit, whatever is orbiting off of you energy that's coming off of you is very leader-esque you're coming across as knowing exactly what you're doing that's good <laughs> you kind of I mean so maybe sometimes we might not but sometimes we act as if and and damn it it doesn't come to manifest and I think it is I think it is let's get this between worlds so this is what you're creating and it's successful especially spirit and your higher power your higher self they're not gonna let you down it's themselves perfection it's perfection everything in your orbit feels this perfection and this energy that's coming off of you um, from your higher self from the higher power it's channeling through you and through what you're creating really deep deep and in touch with your spiritual self especially with this between worlds you may be getting somewhere between worlds in a meditation practice or in an attempt to communicate with spirits and beings from the other side, as we call it. <laughs> Clarify this between worlds, please, spirit, for Gemini. Clarify this between worlds for Gemini. Oh, something's going to relieve your burdens and heal a family, let me say, slash soulmate situation that you think about quite a bit. Letting go of... Um, any regrets or disappointments, letting go of any baggage or burdens that you're carrying that are not yours. You're in between worlds. One thing is exhausting out, so you let go of your burdens. And another thing at the same time it's, uh, is being healed. And so this past, present, future is all happening at once. You feel it. And you know that it will be successful, especially with your higher power here. 
All right, Prowler's like, when I show up, nothing is, I'm unstoppable. Gemini is unstoppable. Keep busy. <clears throat> Need for sleep. Chaos and conflict. Perhaps it's a complete change that's bringing chaos and conflict. Um, people kind of not knowing how to deal with themselves. And so, yeah, that's the reality that we see reflected until we put on our new pattern here. And if you notice, we're getting rid of this whole balancing act in a chaotic world, and we're putting on the coat of the giraffe, so we're seeing from a much higher perspective with this card. Um, master number 33, I think it's what we are uh, solving here. I think it's what you're solving. At the heart of the matter, this is really about transition and letting go of, of all the work. Like you're holding too much. You're doing too much of the work here. Let me put this way over here. That might work. Yeah, now you can see a little bit better. <laughs> Chaos and conflict. About this change. Give us more information about this change. Oh, well, listen, when you're going towards perfection, there's a lot that's changing in between that. Yep, there you are. King, Queen of Wands. It's like you have the strategy, you have the skill, you, you know what you could do to make a move. It would be a wise move. You've been through the battles. You're seen as the lion that's ready to roar. And the fiery, passionate signs of uh, Leo, Aries, and Sag that are here to really tell you, be bold, be daring. She's sitting with her little black cat there. How cute. I like her outfit. It looks super comfortable. <laughs> and her wand is in her hand in celebration. And the magic, well, it's in her hands and it's all around her. She is enlightened to her own uh, divinity. She is aware now that she is so much more than the body. She's the awareness. So she's aware that she is everything. That is those two combined. And that's amazing. That's amazing. Bold, daring. Wow. Bold, daring, really good, really good energy, guys. I'm going to pull some different cards now. I'm feeling pulled towards... What's this? What's this? Page of Pentacle. Brand new adventures. Okay, maybe it's wanting me to pull from this deck, too. I'm going to pull from this deck, the Oracle of Genetic Gifts, but I'm going to get another card. Let's clarify the King and the Queen of Wands. I mean, either, this is power couple at the max. Oh my gosh. And then strength at the split. And the hangman. Woo. Hallelujah. We've been waiting on this enlightenment. Now we're aware of it all. And there's the strength and the confidence. Leo Virgo energy. Original tarot. Please give us clarification. Even though I feel like you've gotten it, you should have the confidence because everything's going to be a-okay. And then, look, your angels are here working it all out with you. Your higher self is here, and they are behind the scenes making these things a reality. They're making what was impossible possible. They're allowing a complete rebirth in a body without having to, let's sum it up, without having to die first. It's a rebirth in consciousness here. Wow. Really exciting energy, guys. Good energy. Um, there is some shakeup, but look, I, I wouldn't expect anything different than some chaos or conflict because things switch drastically once you start coming from the highest place you can. And that's what this feels like. This whole, oh gosh, this whole thing is like taking the higher road. Taking the higher road for sure. 
Facebook platform, spiritual posts and activities, and then I have TV news media, TV news platform, TV news platform, spiritual purposes. So for enlightenment, to uh, have stories, pass on stories of inspiration, of the good that people do, instead of focusing on any fear. Just keep pulling some more oracle cards for Gemini. Next 48 hour. Keep going steady. Steady, steady. It says steadiness. Things seem to be moving slowly, but use this time to your advantage. Rest. Okay? To build up your resources and rebuild your energy. It says you're going to need them. Okay? So go steady. Keep on going steady. Steadiness. This impossible is becoming possible. It's all about divine timing. Keep going. Keep going as strong as you are because it's wonderful. Keep going as strong as you are. I'm your leader here. You're leading. Like I said, there's somebody that looks up to you or maybe, maybe it's a platform that others look up to you. Ooh, fixing the family issue starts with earning back trust and starting from the bottom. And it could be, you know, kind of some hurtful memories from a soulmate that did something too. But I still have passion and desire still alive. Maybe needed a timeout. Like I said in the very beginning, maybe just needed a timeout. Uh oh, well, we definitely don't have... Hidden desires, hidden intentions. Also associated with the moon, there is changes a coming. Changes a coming for Gemini. Somebody admits they had poor judgment. But you're being told don't worry about this there's a fairy here wishes fulfilled dreams innocence and then it's just so complicated too much to think about too much to think about look how perfect everything lined up for you you know why because your higher self is helping and they're helping with this too how perfect it is. Everything's perfect. I was going to draw. We're going to draw one more. If we have to. Love. Before you can truly love another, you need to open your heart and allow yourself to receive love first. Um, open your heart. If you open your heart, love will flow into your soul. Okay. So let's get a cryon card then to close out the reading. This is good. I am eternal. Awareness that you are the awareness. <laughs> That's a big thing. To be aware that you are the awareness. When the body dies, you're still aware. The energy of love. I am eternal. The energy of love and I am eternal. All right. From Cryon Oracle. I am eternal is i uh says i am part of the creative source i'm as old as old i'm as young as young i'm eternal and my wisdom is forever i can co-create miracles even though i'm human right now because my soul awakens in me and i am the beauty mastery of the beauty of mastery that is finally within my grips i am god all right and then the energy of love the energy of love. love. If you lose somebody, remember that even though they may be gone in the 3D, they're actually very alive and well, looking at you, pleading with you to see the energy of love that they represent. Simple message, they're saying they are not gone. 
All right, then that's what I got for you guys. Sending you love and light as always. Bye, Gemini. I hope you got something from your reading.